There's a lot of moving components today, but when the end result is crispy chicken and jalapeno waffles with butter maple cream, it's all worth it. Max just said that was a perfect intro. And it is because it's 100% true because you're gonna love what we're doing today. Look, we've done fried chicken before. It's a slightly different take on it. Uh, and I'm trying to encourage you to make fried chicken, really, because damn, it's good. The first part is to get our chicken brining, and here's how we go. Big bowl, everything goes in. So we're starting with buttermilk because uh, it's a great little thing to help brine this chicken, and the little extra tang that it has is super delicious. But we wouldn't just do it by itself. We have to do a few things. So. Of course, we add some salt and pepper, as we always do. Look how pretty it is when it's all mixed together. We're gonna add a little sriracha. Why? Because the little heat is an amazing thing. And then we're gonna add a little dill pickle juice. And technically, this is not dill pickles. These are dilled green beans that I make that are amazing in a Bloody Mary or a martini or a gin and tonic. I don't know. I mean, they're just fantastic in anything. We'll put a link up here. I never know where to point. Max, Max always goes up here, down there, over here. I just go here, there's a link, so whatever. Okay, so we've got this, and now we mix, and we add our chicken. And I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs because, well look, I like fried chicken with the bones in it, but when it's going on top of a waffle, we don't wanna be messing around with the bone. We just wanna be messing around with straight eating. And once they're in, and settled. We leave them for as long as we can. I suggest four hours, but if you only got a half an hour, then go with the half an hour. The fact that you're doing this in the first place, it's all that matters. Next, the battering uh, flour. So once we're ready to dip the chicken into the flour and then put in the oil, we need seasoned flour. It doesn't take a lot. We're gonna go with kosher salt and pepper again. And I have a little dill here. And when I say a little dill, I mean like, a little dill from a little package that I bought for something the other day that, that I like. We already have the pickle juice in the brining liquid, so dill in here is a natural. Now that just sits off to the side. Now it's waffle time. And I'm using Jiffy. By the way, not sponsored. It's what I use when I make waffles, especially uh, corn meal style waffles because it's already done and clearly it's America's favorite. Super easy. We start with this, super easy if you can open it. Apparently I'm a little challenged. Why did you make this so difficult? Are you kidding me? There we go, okay. So one little box of this goes in here. Not so appealing yet, but just wait. Two thirds cup milk, one egg, a couple tablespoons of oil, Uno, dos, tablespoon of sugar. And the fun part, some diced jalapenos. Boom, so good. I'm gonna use a couple tablespoons of them. One, without liquid. Two, and we mix. Beat that egg a bit first, and then everybody gets stirred together. Perfect. Three tablespoons jalapenos without the juice. There we go. Now we're fine. Okay, so what have we got to do now? The chicken's brining. The flour battering part is ready. The waffle mix is ready. There's one part that we haven't addressed yet and that's the maple butter cream. That's gonna just bring this whole thing together in the most ridiculous, who gives a shit about losing weight in January of a new year kind of way. So we're gonna start with about a half a cup of maple syrup. And Max, if somebody only had Aunt Jemima or some other pancake syrup, would that be okay? Hell yes. Of course it would. Use what you got, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want you making special trips for any of my recipes. Use what you've got. Next, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of whipping cream. One, two, three, four tablespoons. And because I don't have a spoon out here, about a knife's worth 
tablespoon of butter. And it goes on the heat. Oh. oh. Dude, I almost stabbed the f out of you. Holy shit. That literally poked me. No, I see right. I see the butter. I see the butter right there. Did I get your Oh my god. Okay, that goes on. Like, ignore the fact that I almost skewered my child. That goes on. As it starts to warm, the butter melts, everything comes together. We stir it, we stir it, we stir it, and we let it thicken. And that's gonna be the most awesome thing on top of the crispy chicken, the jalapeno waffles. Oh boy. And as it starts to boil and bubble, make sure you stir it because it can definitely get away from you and go over the top and you don't want that to happen. But you do want it to thicken and you can totally smell it right from here. Buttery, mapley, ugh, it's gonna be crazy on top of these things. Let's cook our chicken. Okay, so the chicken dance goes like this. We take a piece of chicken out of our brine, drip off the excess, then it goes in the flour, and we cover. And you want this well covered. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off, and put it on our rack. Oh! In, flour. The point is to cover it evenly and then shake off excess. But if you see spots that don't have any of the flour component, make sure they get it. And then down. Rinse and repeat. Just finish it off. And when your oil's hot enough, and we'll call it 350 degrees, we take our chicken, give it one more little shake, and lovingly place it in the oil away from you in case it splatters. Look, if I was using a bigger pot, I could put more chicken in, but I'm not, so kind of stuck doing a piece at a time. The last time we did fried chicken, we fried it twice. I'm only going to do it once today because, well, honestly, I haven't had breakfast. I'm starving, and I can't wait to see this whole thing come together. So we'll have a little look. Ah, yes. Hello, gorgeous. Love what you're doing in there. And when it's gorgeously golden brown, out she comes. She, I'm assuming. Let it drip a bit, put it on your rack, get one more piece, and in it goes. And repeat. And then just continue until you're all done. Okay, so here's our maple butter cream. It's nice, I want it a little thicker. I'll keep it back on. So just continue cooking the chicken till it's done. But right now, the hell, let's get some waffles going. And when your waffle maker is warm, we open it up, we give it a little spray, bottom and top, and in goes the batter. I never know how much to put in, so I hope that's enough, and we turn it. In a couple minutes, that's ready, the chicken's ready, we're eating big. By the way, if you don't have a waffle maker, they're super fun to have because there's so many things you can do with them besides straight waffles. In fact, I should do an episode about that. We'll put a link at the uh, bottom. Let's check our waffle. And it's time, let's go. So here's how this goes down. We get our waffle, hot, Steamy, oh my gosh. Oh, smells amazing, and you see the little flecks of jalapeno in there. How could you not? Chicken on top, come on. There's something quite wrong about this, ladies and gentlemen. And now, this maple buttercream. Not too much, but not too little. And then I'm gonna give it one more thing, and no, it won't be green onions. It'll be a very simple little dusting of smoked paprika, just to add that little delicious smokiness and amazingness. What's the way to approach this? Well, look, maybe a little waffle first, shall we? I mean, just be because you kind of have to, right? See the jalapeno in there? How great is that? Mm. A little spice from the jalapeno. A nice amount. That smoked paprika is amazing. Waffle, light, super crispy on the outside. But the main event right here. 
a bite of beautifully cooked chicken on perfectly crispy, absolutely gorgeous waffle with a little bit of this maple butter cream. All right, I'm Jewish, so I don't know a whole lot about Catholicism. But there's moments when the Pope does things and he stops and then the music plays and people are really embracing the moment. That's what's going on here. Crispy chicken, cooked perfectly. Crispy little bit spicy waffle, cooked perfectly crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. Everything helped by that little bit of maple freaking cream butter. Mm. Max said a minute ago, oh my God, I just realized I'm having waffles with crispy chicken for lunch. I'm gonna say, it's like 20 times better than he would ever have imagined. Make this, comment, like, subscribe. We're here for you. We're only here for you. Okay, I'm here for Max, but apart from that,